Hello, Mrs. Swain. Yes, Mr. Jennings? You're fired! Thank you, Mr. Jennings. Hello, Mr. Jennings. I'm Mr. Brown, your new secretary. So? Warren is here for his 3 o'clock meeting. All right, send him in. Hello, Mr. Jennings. I hope I'm not disturbing you. I set up this meeting a month in advance. You are disturbing me, Walter. The name's Warren, sir. Whatever. State your business. I haven't got all day. Well, uh, as you know, my daughter's birthday uh, is coming up, so I was just wondering if I could have her day off. You can't have your daughter's birthday off. I gave it to Larry. But Larry doesn't even have a daughter, sir. You don't tell me how to run my company. I tell you what. I'm a reasonable man. I make you a deal. If you can beat me in a game of Jenga, you can have your daughter's birthday off. What? But... Okay. Oh, okay. Now I must warn you, Wesley. I am the Tri-County Jenga Champion of 93, 94, and 97. I hope you are familiar with Sullivan versus Murdoch rules. Are there any other rules? <laughs> Good. That means you straighten the tower and you go first. Oh. Oh, oh yeah. Let me... Oh, I, I, um, I yeah. go. Oh, okay. Oh. Waldorf, I'm going to let you in on a little secret. I enjoy Jenga, and I turn to it to make all my major life decisions. Because it reminds me of building an empire. It all starts with a strong foundation. And then a series of risks must be taken to allow that company to grow and flourish. But it all starts with a little bit of give and take. And with just the right amount, you'll find yourself in a position of power, calling all the shots. But it all starts with that one little risk. No, no, you know, I, I just, you know, we can do another round. We, we, we can play Candy Land or not. Miss Monopoly? I can be so simple. Ah.